hunt for Ganodermis. It's an invasive medicinal species. I found one. Look at this. It's not really beautiful. But this has been returning quite consistently. This one is in baby stage. I have no clue what this is. But it's a Ganoderma. So the spores of a Ganoderma are actually quite medicinal. In China, they're collecting the spores from a reishi, bam, under the ones they cultivate. Um, and apparently a lot of Ganoderic acids are in there. And like what's typical to a Ganoderma is that very bitter taste. If you make a strong extraction of like a reishi or an artist conch, it will taste bitter. And if, if you're certain it is a Ganoderma, that's always the thing. You can always uh, like lick the spores. It will have a t bitter taste. And it's supposed to be really good for you, but I don't know what's good about it. It's probably some some magic. <laughs> some people would cut out away a log like this from their property because it looks not as pleasant. It's growing these weird ass other dramatis. The reason I like this log is on the other side. And here you can see different species of fungi working together. Not necessarily working together, but like at least in harmony. Because this side of the trunk has this beautiful Ganoderma. I think it's a Ganoderma Cecile, but uh, I've only been living in Guatemala for not too long, so I have no clue. It could be something completely different. If you know, please enlighten me. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful mushroom. It looks like it's about done. As you can see, the white line is receding. If the white line is receding, it often means it has halted growing and is ripe to be picked. This mushroom uh, needs to be cleaned first because there's a lot of dirty, bunchy shit, and there's some moss, and there's some decaying wood on there. I don't want that in my tea. Do you want that in your tea? That's fucking gross. So I'm not gonna put that in my tea, so we're gonna wash it first. Wash, wash, wash. Well, I'm gonna attempt to cut this thing with a knife. Ganodermis, like other conky, shelfy, hard mushrooms, contain chitin, which is a polysaccharide that the exoskeleton of bugs is also made out of. This limits us from extracting its compounds orally, naturally, but it also makes it fucking hard. And this way, it is easier for us to dehydrate the mushroom and then eventually grind it up into a fine powder and do a double extraction. First, we need to dehydrate the mushroom. You can put them in like this. You can put them in like this. Don't, don't try to stack them all together. Don't do this. But everything else, sure, go nuts. But there's the brother of the one that we just found, which was done a little bit earlier. Mmm. Yeah, definitely tough. Definitely have to extract it. You want me to end it? See you later. <laughs>